with Transformers 96 here with another video review, this time of uh, Tron Legacy One Man Light Jet. Okay, so here you go. So, um, I was at my Target yesterday, and I was just kind of looking just through everything, Transformers, Star Wars, Tron, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I was really looking for Korra, because I really decided that I wanted to get that one. So I was looking for her, um, for her through all the stuff and did not find her, and um, didn't find this either, uh, but I did pick up Fallback from the new Reveal the Shield Transformers line. So uh, happy about that, but still wanted Korra. So uh, what I did is um, I went to another Toys R Us, and there did not have Korra, but they did have this that I found, and uh, I was very interested in, so I um, decided to get it. Uh, so this is not my typical thing to buy. Usually the stuff that I get is more of um, the action figures and then like the planes and stuff like that. I usually don't purchase um, because I really don't know where I can display them because they're like planes and stuff. So uh, so this is a very um, different type of thing for me to get, um, but I'm pretty glad I got it. So here you go, so uh, here's the box. Just um, some artwork of uh, the Black Guard in here and it says includes Black Guard non-posable picture of the toy itself. It says lights up and uh, Tron Legacy. Then just shows another thing here shows it to the side, and then here's the back. Pretty much the typical, if you buy one of these action figures, the same type of back, where it shows him, it says, missiles fire, uh, lights up with figure, and then it says, includes black guard, non-posable, with a picture of the figure, and then a picture of the empty ship. It says it includes one man, light jet, black um, guard, pilot, two missiles, one user instructional guide, with a little bio, some more in the way this is like wave two, um, with Jarvis, Cora, and Caster. Uh, I had the whole thing is Sam, w Sam Flynn, Clue, Rinsler, Blackguard, Jarvis, Cora, and Caster. I have Rinsler, Blackguard, and Jarvis, and Cora. I'm trying to find. If I find her, I'll definitely buy her. Um, and then Caster, I really can't find, and just. Really, nobody online is selling him, and is just the hardest thing to come by, so I don't know where I'm going to get him. If I happen to see him, I'll definitely pick him up, though. Uh, the new uh, Wave 2 is missing the um, Clue Sentry and Cl Kevin Flynn, so, uh, so yeah, they took him out just to fit the other three. So, very nice. Okay. So, here you go. So, here's the jet. Uh, if you have seen the... Um, the uh, Tron movie, you know that this was the kind of jet that the Black Guards, there was a bunch of these that the Black Guards were on trying to um, bring down, <coughs> excuse me, um, Sam Flynn's ship, uh, and then also Clue was had one of these and was in there, and so was Rinsler. So, um, so very cool. So, uh, first let's just talk about the ship. It is very long. I measured last night, and from the tallest wing to the other tallest wing, it is about 14 inches, if I measured correctly. So that was really cool. Uh, very tall. Um, the ship, these wings, they go down to, um, this, this, this far down. They go this far up. If you wanted something like this, you can totally do that. Uh... I had it posed kind of like this. I thought that that looked really nice. But then I saw the trailer last night and it looked like it was more down here. So, um, more just kind of straight up with the other wings. So, uh, you know, it's really a lot of personal preference. Unless you watch the movie again and pay close attention to these wings. It's a lot of personal preference. But this is very cool. So this ship was activated by the two um, batons in his uh, elbows right here. And uh, kind of formed around him and was very cool. Um, this, so this thing is very tall. Uh, it fits a 3 and 3 quarter inch figure in it. But really the only... Um, it comes with one. I suppose you can put the others in there. Just it really wouldn't fit very nice because um, he'd be looking down if you had a regular figure in there and it wouldn't be able to hold this. So you could, but it wouldn't be very nice. Um, what really sold me on this, and uh, what I probably wouldn't have gone without this, is it included the figure. 
And uh, I really didn't want to put one of my figures in there because, you know, I wanted them posed out with the others, but I wanted to have somebody in this. So, uh, seeing that it came with the Blackguard figure, because I am a fan of the Blackguards, so, um, so then that really sold me, and I was still not 100% sure. I looked at it for a while, and then I just decided, okay, I'll buy it. So, um, so I did. And, uh, fantastic, I am quite pleased. So there is the figure in there. He is holding on to two, um, kind of, uh, controls. Uh, they're clear, uh, orange. And his head is looking up. So that's very cool. If you see right here, this is his leg. And it goes on to a pedal back here. Same thing over here as the pedal. And, uh, this orange thing, um, actually can move up just a bit. But really not much. And it just, it goes right over and just kind of locks in the figure. Because it goes over his, um, identity disc from uh, um, on his back. So that's very cool. Um, he doesn't come with any uh, accessories. It's just him. And uh, I'm not going to take him out because I had some trouble getting this guy in there. Uh, you'll have to really fidget with this guy a lot to get him to fit. But once he fits, he looks great. So just a little bit of effort and then you can get him in eventually. It does take a while, but you can do it. So I'm not going to take him out because I really don't want to go through that again. But he does have good details. See the orange on his stomach, orange on his face, uh, and on his hands. And then the batons in the back of his um, elbows are actually, they have some orange highlights on them. Um, it's pretty hard to see, but it does. And the regular uh, Blackguard Deluxe, um, not Deluxe, but the 3 and 3 quarter inch figure, um, the baton in the back actually is just plain black. So they did add a little bit more detail on this guy, which is really cool. Um, it says non-posable, but actually uh, it does have uh, elbow, or not elbow, but shoulder. It can swivel, so he can... Um, put his hands down. He doesn't have to be like holding um, something up. Uh, but that's that's it. So you can just swivel his shoulders. But that's it for the uh, articulation. A uh, paint on this toy is very nice. It's a pretty shiny black with um, some orange highlights everywhere. Very cool. Really like that. Uh, did a good job. And then um, a lot of good detail in it, as you can see. Very nice. They really did a good job with this. And it's very cool. And from my understanding, this is actually a rare uh, vehicle. And I did not know this. Um, at the Toys R Us that I was at first, they didn't have this. So, you know, I didn't know anything really about it. I didn't know that this was a figure. I, I didn't know. And then the next Toys R Us I went, they had two. And um, it looked pretty cool. Uh, but I didn't know anything about it. So I just decided to pick it up. Even the cashier said that uh, he wanted to get this one. So, um, so that's very cool. And then I went on eBay just to check it out. And it's really pretty expensive on eBay. Um, I'm surprised. So this is kind of like a rare ship. I really didn't know when I bought this. I just bought it because it looked pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so that was pretty impressive. Uh, so yeah, so I was really glad to get this. And as you can see, the box is out right here. It does not uh, fit in the box total. Um, it comes in a couple pieces. These wings from this orange part are taken off. And uh, the figure is not in the vehicle to start. What else? Uh, there's two bullets that come with it. And I think that's about it. So not much assembly. You just really had to put the wings on and then you can put the character in. Um, the bullets that it comes with are these looking things. You just put it into the slots right here. They just snap in. There we go. And then you just uh, click the two buttons. There's a button here and a button here, and you can click them. I'll probably lose the bullets, but here you go. There you go, yes. Okay, so one fell over, but one stayed on here. It shoots fairly well. Very nice, I actually think. Um, yeah, so that's really cool. So, yeah, so great. Uh, this, this is a pretty cool set, and it also does have one more feature that I did not know if uh, it would it would have. I thought maybe, but I really didn't think they'd do it, because um, I didn't. It says on the box it lights up, but I didn't uh, really think um, much of it. I didn't think... Uh, Sorry, I didn't really look at the box when I first got this. You know, I read a few things, but I didn't notice the lights up. So I didn't know if it would, but uh, but it does. So here you go. So let's just see it in the dark first. You just, you're going to want to press this one button right here. So very cool. Very nice. 
as you can see and it stays on for a good long time which is really cool and then on here's the lights and it kind of flickers off but here they are on in the daytime so very cool so the whole inside of here lights up even the handle that he's holding lights up on um, the back right here lights up and this clear plastic right here lights up so uh so yeah so very nice and let's see if we can get it there he goes the flickering off so that is very cool and um so yeah so very nice oh yeah when you kind of like I don't know. Sometimes I've turned it on without even pressing this button. So yeah, so uh, when you first get it out though, um, there is the switch to turn it on and off, just so you know. And uh, it does come with an instructional guide just to show how to put everything together and how to change the batteries. So very cool. Uh, this is a really cool thing. I'm really glad I picked it up. Um, this isn't my type of thing. Usually I just get the action figures. I don't get the ships and stuff. Uh, so yeah, so I'm um, very happy to get this though, because it is a very cool toy, and definitely not what I expected. So very happy to get it, I love the black guard figure that comes in, uh, great detail on the black guard, they really did a lot of detail, it's not just all painted black with no detail, um, they really did it very well, and he's looking straight up, so, uh, so that's very cool, really like that. And uh, is pretty screen accurate. I haven't seen the movie since I bought this guy, so I didn't get a really good chance to just like stare at the ship to see if it's perfect. But um, but from what I remember, it's a pretty good detail. So yeah, so very nice. Uh, you should definitely pick up the set if you see it, especially if you're into collecting the ships and stuff. This is a must-have. But if you're like me and you just like the action figures. But, you know, every now and then, not often, you pick up some kind of ship or something. Then this is definitely something that you're probably going to want to pick up. Because I really, you know, not into that. And I picked it up. And I was really impressed. And really liked this, uh, this set. So very cool. Uh, so very nice. And also, on a side note, I'm kind of realizing now that Cora is extremely rare. Um... Because on eBay, she's really expensive, like 20 25 bucks on eBay, uh, people are paying for her. And I didn't think she was rare, because I saw her twice. The two times I saw her, there was only one left, but I thought, you know, oh, it's fine, I saw her twice now. And now that I want to pick her up, and I decided that I'm going to buy her, I can't seem to find her. So, uh, so that's a little disappointing. I might not get that one now because I can't find her, but if I find her, if I stumble across her, I'll definitely pick her up. So, so yeah, I hope I do. That would be really nice. So there you go. So, uh, so that's my video review for Tron Legacy, one man light jet, including the black guard figure. Thanks for watching.